Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we will see about uh, mixed effect models uh, using in the randomized conflict of design for genotype by environmental interaction analysis. And for sake of this tutorial, we will use the methane package as well as the uh, data, uh, data underscore uh, GE. And uh, as you see here, here the column one is represented by environment, followed by genotype, replication, green yield, and HN. So the last two columns are our response variable, uh, while the rest, that means column one, two, three, are our response, uh, sorry, uh, independent variable, or it's our factors. So uh, we will uh, see three different uh, models. The first one is by just uh, considering genotype as a random effect and the second one is uh, considering uh, the environment and also considering the third is considering all uh, factors as a random effect so i'll show you one by one so starting from the first one that means uh, considering genotypes as a random effect it is a default method no need to specify anything then you have to use the function uh, gamem underscore met and after that, immediately you have to indicate your data name. So our data is already built in our um, in our software. So this is our data. Then we will consider only the genotype as a random effect. So then it's followed by uh, environment. In the means it is a column that contain uh, the environment. So in our case, environment is represented by ENV. Let's see our data. Here is ENV. Maybe for you is location, maybe it is site. So you have to specify that one to your uh, uh, R. Then the gen means it is the, the column that contain or that represent the genotype. And similarly, replication, that means it is the column that contain the replication. And here, for example, um, this is the response variable and i write everything so for example if you are interested in only for example or in gy or in hn or uh, the two so you have to indicate here is a gy under uh, quotation for uh, green yield but if you want to see for the for example if you want to include it if you want to include for both the uh, green yield you know, as well as the pH, sorry, the HM, that's me, HM, so you can represent in this way. But uh, I want to carry out all the response variables that included in my data, so I'll feed in this one. So type this and send it to our studio. Then I represent all this code in what? In A, in A only, so that. Um, uh, now, uh, after now, I will go uh, A. Then, if you want to see the distribution of the random effects, so you have to use the plot function, then immediately followed by the model that you create. So, our model name is A, that's considering genotype as a random effect. Then, when you type is equal to RE, so you will see the distribution of your random effect. Yeah. As you can see here, here is a blob for the genotype, and again also a blob for a genotype plus a genotype uh, by environment interaction analysis, and here is a gen uh, blob for genotypes by environmental interaction analysis. So by this way you can uh, see the distribution of the random uh, effects. Then, then again, if you are interested to see the uh, genetic uh, parameters, so you have to use the function get underscore model underscore uh, data. Then you have to specify the model. So our model is A, A means it is considering genotype as random effect. Then the gen par. Gen par means it is a genetic uh, parameter. So type this and submit to our studio. And it will give you all the genetic uh, uh, parameters. Yes, this one. Furthermore, if you are interested again to get the variance uh, component, so you have to use again the get underscore module underscore uh, data, then A, then the VCOMP. VCOMP stands for 
the virus component. Yeah, so obviously here is a group is a genotype, genotype by environmental interaction analysis as well as the residual for two response variable in our case is GY and HM which stands for grain yield and hectoliter mass. So this is the uh, first model uh, for RSV design considering genotype as random effect. The second one is uh, considering or assuming environment as what well as a random effect. All the codes are similar. For example, this is the default method and no need to, to specify the random effect. So if you didn't specify any random effect, R will consider genotype as what well as random effect by default. So that if you to, if you want to change from the genotype to environmental uh, to environment as random effect, then you have to add the random uh, this random one code and you have to specify the environment here. So all things are the same, even the function is the same, then you are followed by data, then followed by environment, genotype, replication, and the response variable that you want to study. You can uh, say all the response variables that you have in the data set, but again also you can only uh, say to the specific or the uh, desired um, response variable that you want. So I put here GY, then I assigned random effect into what? Environment. So default is genotype, but if it, if you want to write gene, uh, so it also considering as a random effect genotype, but I signed here is environment. So type this and submit to our studio and I, uh, I represent all this code, all this code, into what? Into B. Then uh, type this and submit to our studio. Then the likelihood ratio test of for the analyzed trait, in our case is green yield, and all variables are uh, statistically significant. Then go for distribution. Yeah, if you want the distribution of the uh, random effect, so you can go for that. Then you will get uh, these uh, types of uh, distribution of a random effect. Then again, uh, if you want uh, to get the genetic parameters, quite unfortunate this will not be working. Why? Because in order to get the genetic uh, parameters, the random effect should be either all or either the genotype. And this is always if you're considering environment as random effect, you will not get the genetic parameters. But you, you have a chance you know, to deal with what? To deal with the, with the variance component. So it will give you here the, the variance component. And here is environment, obvious. Genotype by environment interaction is obvious. Again, is residual is obvious. So this is similar to what? To the module one or when we're considering uh, a genotype as random effect. But the new thing that is included into this model is uh, replication with an environment or interaction of replication and environment is included if you consider environment as a random effect. So by this way um, you can uh, specify or you can uh, get uh, the random effect when you set environment you will get this result. So uh, let's uh, proceed to the third one. The third one is, uh, this is a, our third model will be considering all factors as a random effect. That means genotypes, environments, the interaction of genotypes as well as environment, and again, blocks nested with what with environment will be assumed to as what to as random effect. So we will assign random is equal to all as you can see here so when you're referring random effect all means you are telling to r to uh, assume the random effect as what well as genotypes as environment interaction of genotype and environment as well as block nested within environment so let us assign uh, this by c and uh, again our function is still the same then followed by the followed by environment, genotype, 
a replication, a response variable. Then again, the random effect is all means you are considering all these uh, things. So type this and send it to our studio. Then again, um, you can get the variance component by using the get underscore model underscore data. Then you have to specify model then uh, under quotation you use a var comp. Then you will get the variance component. Yes, as you can see, here is the variance component, here is the environment, here is the genotype, here is genotype by environment, again, here is replication within the environment, then lastly, uh, residual, lastly, residual. Then, uh, furthermore, if you want to check or to see the distribution of random effects, so stand this one and write, run to uh, our studio, then you will get the distribution of uh, each uh, factors, for example, here is the environment, here is the genotype, here is a genotype uh, plus environment plus genotype interaction with environment plus um, replication nested with environment. Again, here is uh, genotype uh, by environment interaction, and again, here is uh, the blob for the random effect of uh, uh, replication. Uh, nested with environment. So by this way, you can see the distribution of uh, the random effects for the model that you created. Then uh, again, it's possible uh, to get the genetic parameter, but if you assign uh, the random effect as environment, you won't get the genetic parameter. But if you assign all as, as well as uh, genotype as random effect, you will get the genetic parameters. Type this and send it to our studio, then you will get all uh, the uh, genotypic uh, parameters. So this is uh, all about today's uh, tutorial regarding to the mixed model effect for randomized complete block design using uh, genotype as random effect, again, uh, environment as random effect, as well as considering all factors, that means the genotype, genotype by environmental interaction analysis, environment, as well as the uh, interaction of the or block nested with the environment. Well, so I hope it's helped you a lot. And as usual, if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email as well as alternatively, you can use a YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.